And it did. Mrs. Snyder brought up the idea with the rest of the board, and they thought that it would be a great idea, but the only way Olivia could do it is if she was assisted by an adult. They chose a man in their congregation who they thought would be perfect to co-direct the play. He was a take charge kind of guy, and his name was Mitchell Hartford, but everyone just called him Mitch. Olivia was super excited to start. All she had to do was find a cast for her play. Thank you for helping me, Mitch. I think I will really need the help. Oh, no problem, Olivia. I love working with plays. You know, it reminds me when I was your age. I had the lead in every single Christmas play that my church did. Really? You must have been really good. Well, yeah, that and the fact that there were only three kids in my church, and two of them had speech and pages. <laughs> Impediments. Oh, well, let's get started. Hey. Shouldn't we wait for the cast to get here? But they are here. This is your cast? Yeah. This is your cast? Yes, this is Lauren, Matt, James, Cassidy, Amy, Present! Justin, and Lily. They all want to be in this play. Not all. Then why did you sign up? I didn't. My mom signed up. She said that I needed more confidence. Okay, well, uh, before we start practice, I need to let you know, we have about two months of practice. Uh, this is something that people are coming to to enjoy. We want them to leave here thinking, wow, I want to see that again. Wait, how many times are we putting this play on? I hope just once. I don't like being on stage. You've already made that clear to us. Oh, please, please, everyone. And James, we're only putting the play on once. Then how can you say people are going to see it again? Well, I didn't say they would. I I said they would want to. Then why don't we just put on more than one performance? That way, you can see more than once. No, please no. You're such a crybaby, really. Don't call me that, Cassidy. Oh, you want me to give you a bottle? Stop it! Everyone! Everyone listen? Uh, Olivia's gonna give up Park so. Okay, so Lauren, I want you to play the role of Mary. Really? I need to play the dramatic part, sweet Mary? Is my part romantic? Mm -hmm. Does the script follow Mary's sad childhood with a broken family? I didn't know Mary's family was broken. Well, I don't think it was. But we could make it that way. Mary had to get away from the pain that was coming from her family. And when she runs away from home, she meets Joseph, who understands her hurt and pain and listens to her and helps her. In the meantime, Mary and Joseph fall in love and live happily forever. That's so stupid. <laughs> Because next week we start blocking. 